welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a book tag. I haven't done one in ages. I honestly do not remember what was the last one. Maybe my Netflix book tag? But yeah, it's been quite a while and while watching booktube I came across George's video in which he did New Year New Books tag and I thought it was a cool tag and it's a relatively short one. So without further ado, let's just get on with it. And the first question, what was your first read of 2018? And mine was Goliath by Tom Gold. So Tom Gold is a quite renowned comic artist and illustrator. He does comic strips for New York, New York Times, I believe. And they're quite popular online. I've seen a lot of them float around on Twitter as well as Tumblr. He does comic strips in a very distinct um, art style uh, with like simply shaped human forms like like little triangle and real like little circle for the head very distinctive style probably if you see the cover you will know and recognize the style as well so i read a couple of his graphic novels before but i've been meaning to read goliath and i picked it up from the library read it enjoyed it but had some problems with it because it's based on the story of Goliath and David and we do know how it ends. So Goliath dies by the end of the book which made me really sad plus the whole story is told from his perspective and he's portrayed essentially as a gentle giant who was pulled into the war that he knew nothing about. Um, it was funny at times, but not as funny as some other graphic novels, but that was my first read of 2018. Second question, which books you read in 2017 that you want to share with everyone this year? And for this question, I have several books to recommend. The first one would be Wind Witch by Susan Dennard, because I love Susan Dennard and I love her series. Wind Witch is the second book in the Witchland series and it is YA fantasy, high fantasy, so if you're into that you'll probably enjoy this one. The second recommendation would be This Savage Son by Victoria Schwab, because it is a freaking amazing urban fantasy. It is just a duology and it's stunning absolutely stunning it has elements of horror it is it has it has elements of mysticism so to say it is just so freaking amazing it is very dark though even though um it is kind of young adult still there is a lot of darkness and violence just be aware the third recommendation would be peter darling by austin chant and this is a very interesting book because first of all it's a kind of like a sequel slash the retelling of Peter Pan, but not exactly. So we are in the time frame when Peter Pan is a grown-up and he has a relationship with Captain Hook. But if it sounds like a fan fiction to you, it is not because this is a way darker story and it also has a transgender main character. It is beautifully written. It's relatively, I would say relatively short, more like a novella, but it's wonderful. It is indie and I just I just love it. I I think it was one of my favorite reads by um, independent slash small like indie authors and it just just freaking loved it. And the fourth answer for this question would be 27 Hours by Tristina Wright and I freaking love that book. That is book number one in her sci-fi young adult trilogy and it's Oh, 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 it's amazing. First of all, we get a whole new planet. We have aliens, we have monsters, we have um, a lot of action, and we have absolutely stellar cast of diverse characters. We have people with disabilities, we, we have people with mental illnesses, we have people of color, we have people of uh, non-binary gender, we have uh, different sexualities. It is a freaking amazing, diverse read. Highly, highly recommend. I will leave all the links to the books that I'm mentioned in the description below. I do have reviews on my blog, so please check them out. The third question is, what is your reading goal for this year? And the short answer would be a hundred books, the same as last year, but I do have more in-depth video on this topic. I created a video in which I'm talking about my reading goals overall because reading just a hundred books is not enough for me. I do have certain challenges that I want to meet myself while reading this year and if you want to learn more about that, I'll provide the link to my video below. Question number four. 
what new book, new author or a new genre you would like to try this year. There are so many books and so many authors that would like to try this year and among them one of the books that I've never read before is the Mortal Instrument series by Cassandra Clare and I really want to do it this year. I have already actually started with Infernal Devices so I'll be reporting my progress but another books that I really want to get into this year would be in non-fiction genres. Specifically, I want to read something about creative writing and I do have a couple of books on that, but I never read them, so this is definitely another thing that I want to read. As a matter of fact, I plan to make a video in which I talk about the popular YA series that I have never read but I would like to read, so watch out for that one. Question number five, which reading habits you would like to change this year? And the answer would be to read more books that I already own. That is actually one of the reading challenges that I have for myself this year because I do tend to overbuy books for one thing and I also get a lot of books from the library, which is great when you think about it, but when you have all of these books on my shelves and I have not read all of them, yeah, that's the problem. And the last but definitely not least is question number six, most anticipated releases of this year. And the short answer would be go and watch my the most anticipated releases video for this year, but I will still mention them. Definitely Sidewitch by Susan Dennard, which is coming out on February 13th. Definitely Vengeful by V. Schwab, which is a sequel to Vicious, and it's coming out in September. Um, a Reaper at the Gates by Saba Tahir, which is coming out on June 25th. And yeah, probably this one. There are some more. There is a book which is written both by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. There is a new book by Alex London, which is also coming out in October. Um, there is a new book in the Lion Mistress trilogy by R.A. Stephan, which is an indie author, and I absolutely love her books. Those are more of a romance type books. Love them, and I'm looking forward to getting hands on that sequel. Um, yeah, there are quite a few books that I'm really looking forward to reading this year, and uh, probably the closest release would be Sidewitch, yes. Okay, this is it, guys. These are all the questions of this New Year New Books tag, and this is such a nice and, you know, quick tag, so I think everyone should do it. If you're watching this and you have not done this tag, consider yourself tagged. And if you do this tag, please let me know down below so I can check out your video. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Bye! It is honestly so awkward to come up with, you know, plausible and realistic poses when trying to come up with, like, a thumbnail. I'm not very good with that. <sighs> Which reading happens... Which new... Uh...